Okay, so let's investigate this particle then from this first position a little bit from this first example. So we've got this equation t squared minus eight over t plus one squared, and we go, hey, what's the initial, what's suppose the initial position of the particle is nine, all right? So what is the particle's position after one second and after five seconds? Well, remember that when you are, are working through positioning, we want to know like where are we like how much distance have we covered from our initial value of nine okay and so after one second what's that going to look like remember when you're trying to find that distance covered or how far you've moved or changed you're going to start at an initial position which in this case is a time of zero and you're going to stop at a time of one uh so how is that what does that mean that means that we integrate our velocity function. If you integrate velocity, you get position. When you integrate velocity, you get position. So we're just going to integrate this guy, t squared minus 8 over t plus 1 squared. And if we want to know where it is after one second, then, then we go from 0 to 1. If we want to know where our particle is after 5 seconds, let me change colors here then we just go from zero to five. Remember, when you integrate velocity, you get position. That's the answer to the question that we're trying to solve. So this would be t squared minus eight over t plus one squared dt. Okay, so those are the those are the problems in um, that, that we're gonna try and solve. Okay, now keep in mind, at the end, we're gonna have to mess with the nine. Okay, because that's where we started from. So if we integrate these, these both actually integrate to the same thing because it's the same function. We're just looking at different values that we move across with our particle. So if I integrate this, I'm just going to add one to the two. So I'm going to have two cubed over three. Okay, minus, and then if I'm integrating this, if you, if you just will think for a minute, this is eight times t plus one to the negative two. And because there's no number in front of that t, when we integrate, we can treat this as its own variable. So this is actually going to be uh, 8 times t to the t plus 1 to the negative 1 divided by negative 1. And, and that's the same for both of these. Now, if there was a number in front of the t, we would have to use our chain rule and make a u substitution. And the first guy, then we're just going to integrate. We're going to solve it out from 0 to 1. Okay. And when we do that, we end up with uh, 1 over 3 minus, and remember, this is t plus 1 to the negative 1. So it's actually going to be 8 over and I think this changes to plus because we've got a minus one in the denominator. So eight over one plus one, so eight over two. And then when we substitute zeros in, uh, that would be minus, and then zero cubed divided by three is zero, okay? And so that just leaves us the second part here, which is gonna be um, plus uh, eight, over one, okay? And because we're subtracting that positive eight over one, it looks like this. So we put all these bad boys together and for the zero to one second particle, when you combine all these, I get in my book um, negative 11 thirds. And I think my math will support that. Okay, so what do we do? Well, remember we started at nine, okay? That was our initial position. So if I start at nine and I've moved negative 11 thirds, I can put these things together for this guy right here. So I'm gonna have nine minus 11 thirds, which is 27 thirds minus 11, and 27 thirds minus 11 is 16 thirds. So how have I moved? I've moved 16 thirds. Okay, so the initial position, initial position plus, uh, 
plus this integral down here. And let's name this integral because this is actually a pretty cool thing. We're gonna actually call that displacement because this is an idea of how far we've moved, how far have we moved our particle. And anytime you move something, it's called displacement. So when you do initial position plus displacement, you get your new position. It's actually, it's really a cool thing. So 16 over three, it's positive. Um, so that would be to the right would be our new displacement if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so 16 over three units to the right from our original spot, okay? That's after one second, kind of cool, okay? Well, let's check out the after five seconds thing. So what's gonna change down here? Not a whole lot, actually. The only thing that's gonna change are, uh, will be this number one. Instead of going from zero to one, it'll go from zero to five, okay? So this is gonna be five cubed now over three minus eight over uh, and actually that would be plus eight over six, I think is what it's gonna be. Six squared, no, eight over six. Okay, and, and so when you work that guy out, you're gonna end up with 125 over three plus eight over six, and if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be equal to 35, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my initial position plus my displacement. So 9 plus 35 should give me my new displacement. So 9 plus 35, my initial position is 9 plus 35. So we'll clear some of this stuff out right here. Actually, we got room right here next to this guy. It'll be nine plus 35. Well, I'm getting crowded, sorry. Which is gonna be 44. And again, it'll be units to the right because we're moving in that direction, okay? It looks really weird, but all it is is taking your initial position plus the displacement. What is displacement? Your integral uh, of the function that you're working with.